Hello, hello, this is Katya from the Finnabar Creative Team. Today I will show you how I um, decorate an old uh, wooden tribe and I will use it like a canvas. I have before painted it with crackle paste. I got my inspiration from uh, one tag I made before and as a focal point I have these gorgeous stickers from Prima. And remember to keep the packagings because you know that you can use the packaging for many other fun projects. Not today. Uh, I will have some of uh, these uh, gorgeous knobs uh, on my project. I will also have uh, some stars from the star and molds, moon kits and a wooden house and a clock. So you see me here trying out the composition. I want the, uh, the stars to be behind and some of the gears and knobs from the set, I want them to be around the house to give the balance of the house. So before I'm gluing, I am trying out uh, how I want to have it. Um, sometimes I try out and sometimes I only glue how it's come. Uh, that depends uh, what kind of mood you are. But here in the video you can see me try out. And I use the 3D glass gel uh, to glue everything with. So I have some uh, gel on every decoration and press it and glue it. And I really enjoy to use the gels uh, much more than uh, glue or glue gun because it takes a little bit of time before it will dry. And that's the way uh, I want it because then you can move the decoration uh, before it's completely dry. And that's perfect. I think. And I want to give you this video because um, uh, it's, I think it's important when you are creating and during your process to not compare with other, uh, compare only with yourself. And that's why I have got my inspiration from uh, one other tag that I have made. Uh, because it's so easy to lose your self-confidence when you create and compare yourself too much with other people. So stay true to yourself and create what you like. And for me, it's a process and my time with myself. Or sometimes I like to create with other people. And I think that's the most important thing when I create. And you here see me looking after stars and Roman numerals in my stash. And I also glue them on my, what do you call it? Fake canvas? Yes, my wooden fake canvas. And I like wooden things to create on because they are so heavy and they, even if you have a thick layer of medium, it, it's uh, keep the shape. So you see me moving around and uh, gluing and the 3D gloss gel or you can use a 3D matte gel. Uh, it doesn't matter. It uh, works uh, like the same. So you see me use some shipboard leftovers uh, uh, or wooden pieces to have uh, some base before I add some details. So I'm adding the last uh, decorations here and metallics. Um, and here the Roman numerals on the house, wooden house. Here I have some art stones 
the smallest one, the art stones, uh, you can find the three different sizes. And here I use the smallest one and I'm adding some uh, three, 3D material uh, around some of the embellishment and molds because then when I sprinkle the mini art stones, it can look like there are some um, rust or effect or it have around there. So I only add it around my decoration and uh, to give the extra texture there. So you see, I sprinkle carefully and I think I have the art stones all around my table. So uh, I leave this to dry a little bit before the, my next step. Now my canvas have dried, not full yet, but almost. Uh, and I have different sizes of string and I choose the smallest one in this project because I want it to be a little bit more fine detailed. And I know that when I paint the string, it will get more, uh, it will have a more, it will look more. So that's why I choose the smallest one, the thinnest one, and I'm adding it around my canvas. I'm a little bit caref uh, careful uh, because I know it's not completely full dried yet. And to be sure, I uh, have some metallic tape on the back side because I want it to leave, uh, stay there. Okay, uh, now I have leave my canvas to dry. I have some metallic paint, uh, blackberry. It's almost a black paint, but not completely. A uh, little bit purple and a little bit brown. And I'm tapping it around. Uh, I don't want it to be on a speci specific place all around it because I want doesn't want my canvas to be fully fully black. So a little bit here and there, I'm tacking with a metallic paint. Uh, I will also use black heavy gesso uh, on some places, and the black heavy gesso it's a matte paint. So. I like the effect of mixing the metallic paint and the matte heavy gesso. So uh, I think it's almost dry now and it should be. Uh, now I have really much paint, but anyway, not so much paint. And I use a dry brush in technique because I want it to be more, uh, have more dimension and more detailed here and there. So I do it with a white paint and on some places uh, heavy gesso, it uh, turns a little bit gray. But here on this project, uh, I doesn't mind and you see it start, uh, the details start to show a little bit. And um, this is really one of my favorite techniques when you brush and you can look. And I really, really love it already. And on some places I have more gesso and on some places I have more, uh, not so much. Here I have some art alchemy of wax and this is vintage gold uh, the one who is uh, most uh, golden color and i have a soft brush and i brush a little bit here and there to give it a golden effect not uh, big surfaces a very thin coat but to give it a more golden shine. And you see it, it's already look more interesting. 
Uh, I have one of my favorite waxes. It's a new, uh, one of the new colors. It's orange and it's named Firebird. Oh, and that's gorgeous. I'm a little bit careful now in the beginning, uh, but I want the stars and details to be in this orange color. I sometimes, where I want it to look more heavy, I also use my fingers. Uh, but places where it's difficult to touch with my fingers, I can use a brush. And you can use uh, a smaller brush uh, on uh, smaller elements. So yes, if you like this video, remember um, to give a thumb up. And most of all, I'm so happy if you uh, would like to leave a comment or if you want to ask something and I try to give you an answer as soon as possible. I try to read all the comments, uh, but the time doesn't, uh, I doesn't have enough time to answer you all. Here you can see me uh, use the liquid acrylic paint and I have the color ink black. And here I want to give um, a black shade around the house and this liquid paint yes it's liquid and it's uh, glossy and its name ink black and yes it's look almost like ink when it's dry and I like when you use the spraying uh, the color so in some places it's get a more thin coat and on some places it's a really heavy coat and the effect is gorgeous on the hair on the places where it's stay much paint oh i just love it it's so difficult to show here on the camera but the effects are amazing uh, I have some uh, embossing powder uh, from Stampendos, a little chunky mixed and I sprinkle it over my canvas and here uh, when I have embossed it, it took so long time uh, but I wanted to some golden chunky details. Yes, and now my canvas is going to finish and you see me, I will adding more of the firebird where I want um, my embellishment to pop out more. So the stars and some decoration. And I also have some silver brushed iron. I do it here and there with the silvery because I like the contrast with the golden and the silver and the silver it gives a little bit more matte finish here. Not matte, but it gives contrast to the orange and golden effect. And my stickers uh, will be glued here in the middle. And I try to catch the colors on the sticker and it's a little bit golden. So I think it uh, looks fun. And you see me go on with the more of the waxes. I hope you enjoy my video and I want you to remember that you will create for yourself and enjoy your process. And here you can see me with some of the close up and the embossing powder, how it went. And the Arch Alchemy liquid acrylic paints just look gorgeous. So thank you and take care of yourself and hope to see you in the next tutorial. Hope you will enjoy the photos here and see you soon again. Bye bye.